Okay, we're starting. Uh, Hello, this is G-Man, the Cosmic Destroyer. And Tomcat. And this is the Ganondorf Smash 4 bracket, and we have Jaxus vs. Zeno on Omega Bridge of Elven. The reason why we do the Ganondorf bracket is because everyone got bored. Yeah, that's pretty much what Chef's first time. We're doing it for free, and there's a pot price, like... Yeah, we got like four bucks in the pot and honey mustard. <laughs> but yeah, it's free tournament with four dollar pot, but whatever. So it looks like uh, Zeno is taking the lead right now. Yeah. It's very slight, but Ganondorf also can live forever. Yeah. But he's hitting Jaxus with the whiz kicks. And then again, it's Ganon v Ganon, so yeah. the average delivery is Ooh, the Talon Smash landing on Jaxus. Very strong. Oh, trying to go for the spike, but misses it. That would have been very scary. That was, I would imagine it was very scary for Zeno. Trying to go for the Warlock Blade, gets dared for it into Bear. Not quite a stock, but maybe enough to incoming. You know, killing himself incoming. Yep. You know, coming in with the Warlock Blade, not quite upon this because he was still invincible. Oh, baits out the Whisk Kick and punches with side B into a down smash. Doesn't quite kill because Ganondorf is heavy. I don't do Smash 4. Oh, forward air. Barely kills. This game is still quite even, but no, uh, Jackson has this minor lead. I'm just gonna say this right now, I'm gonna take this seriously. Uh, I will. So, yeah, they are missing each other a lot right now. This is embarrassing to Ganondorf. Lands the fair into the almost dare. Jackson lands the bear on Zeno. Gets the up B, but doesn't connect the second head, unfortunately. I, that maybe would have killed him, I'm not sure. <laughs> Rest of the up tilt doesn't uh, quite get how it. How many times did AJ do uh, up B? Try to do up B. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but he lands, wow. Jackson lands a spike and takes wow. the game. Wow, I thought it was So, as of right now, I'm actually uh, seated because I'm, right. you know, the best uh, player here. <laughs> you know. Oh. I kind of find that hard to believe, just to be honest here. Shush. Where is this at? What? Where's this at? What? The Gandorf. Oh, we didn't set up an actual bracket, but just... It's on that laptop. Oh, okay, okay. The one behind us. Okay. So here we go. Counter pick to Omega Temple. Very strong counter pick. They're basically the same match. Shh. Starts off with the dash attack to Dare from Jaxus. Gendorf's dare is beautiful. That move is so good. It is. Goes for the Warlock Blade, for some reason, punches the side B. Jackson's text up. It's awkward standstill. Yeah. It's a dash tag, no follow up. Gendorf, he, can, he has some minor combos and they do a lot. Ooh, gets the up B. For stock, it's 79%. Dark Fist said, is such a strong move. As I said, uh, Ganon v Ganon, they're not going to be living very long. Yeah, that's true. Sure, they may be both heavy but they're both really strong. Yeah. You know, trying to go for the up B, but misses. Not quite punish. In my opinion, the up B may be a good pick, but it's uh, easy to predict. It is. Unless you have a guarantee. Unless you have a setup or a trick that is thinking of something that's going to happen. I just don't really see it as a very hard kill move. Yeah. It could be pre it's predictable. It's hmm. In doubles, it's entirely fine if you if you're perfect. Your your yeah. Oh, it tries to get the roll read but misses, and he gets punishes gets punished by Dark Fist for it. Yeah. Such a strong move. It's my favorite. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jax is going for the up smash, which is incredibly safe. That move is so fast. Gets the up smash. Game two goes Jaxus. Yeah. Oh. Is that the entire set? Yeah. yeah that's set. Ah! No, I was admiring my sword. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Tom, your part. What did I?